got cherries, we've got bourbon barrels, big funnel, big scoop. All righty. Mmm, look at those suckers. Nice and slow. We're adding 80 pounds of Mount Morrissey cherries into this. 80 pounds? 80 pounds overall. How many of these do you have to do? We'll go through 3,000 pounds of cherries for this batch of beer. Wow, that's a lot of cherries. It's a lot of manual labor, but the final product is well worth it. It's part of why we call it craft brewing, because it's a craft. You got it's it. It's an art thing that we do here. Mmm. That's tart. That's good. The tartness of the cherry balances out so well with the residual sweetness of the stout. Mm -hmm. um, and then you contribute the flavors from the oak aging process. It's a really well-balanced beer. This is going to age for how long? A full year. I want to taste it now. Just so happens I've got some we made a year ago. <laughs> oh, do you now? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Let's try it, huh? Absolutely. Some bourbon cherry stout fresh out of the barrel. This is really a stellar beer. Gentlemen. Thank you. I love the cherry flavor blending with that roasted. It's like, to me, it's a chocolate covered cherry in a glass. A lot of roasted malt, a lot of nice sour cherries. The cask gives a character. And it's not yeah. just the vanilla of the wood, all right, but it's also the bourbon. Yeah. Nicely done. Thanks. Congratulations. Gentlemen, cheers. Well, we're going to go up to the hills and we're going to collect some juniper branches and some juniper berries for a Finnish style sati. We're basically making one of these Finnish farmhouse beers. Oh, yeah. One stop shopping. Oh, yeah. That's pretty big. It's going to make a wonderful beer. Look at all these good berries. Oh, man. Don't Get back here. Don't be bashful. I am not being bashful. Beautiful. Let's steep some boughs. Here we go. We're going to get even more aromatic out of the needles by using these in the mash. So this is part of your grain bed and yeah. makes for a nice flow through. You don't have brakes on this thing, so it yeah. kind of keeps you a nice little pathway for the wort to get out. These are nugget hops from the Colorado Western Slope, so they're super local. And that's important for a Finnish sati to use local ingredients. Local ingredients. Yeah. It's like the floor of the forest. Yeah. You, know, you got the grain, you got the boughs, you got the hops. <laughs> OK, what's next? Nice. Oh, yeah. How'd it go? Uh, it went very well. It's going to yeah. go a little bit better soon. Cheers. Yeah. Lovely brewing with you, Michael. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Um, there's an earthiness in there. Uh, and there's the junipers coming right through. Uh, you, you, you can taste a tree. Well, there is a tree in there. <laughs> ah, this is what we refer to as real ale. It's allowed to ferment. Uh, finish fermenting in the cask, carbonate slightly in the cask, and then um, you add certain things to it. In this case, we put in... Um, Pomelo. Bigger than grapefruit. To me, it's like in between a grapefruit and a, and a lemon, uh, the, the character that comes off of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this case, we zest it. How much? Uh, one whole pomelo per cask. So you let that sit around a little bit. We hook it up to a beer engine and the spraying action allows you to get this nice, thick, rich head. Yep. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the aroma, the flavor, that's really mellows the IPA. Who wants one? 